What's going on guys? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here. It's time to take a look at what sold over the last few days out of my eBay store. <music> So this channel, guys, about reselling. It's about going to estate sales, garage sales, Walmart, wherever, thrift stores. Finding something there that you believe is priced essentially too low. You buy it, then you go online and you sell it again or resell it. And that seems to have sort of a bad connotation when you talk about resellers, but it's capitalism. Walmart is reselling stuff that they bought somewhere else too. It's okay. It's okay to be a reseller. And you know what? You make money being a reseller. I've got a list here of the things that I've sold over the last few days that proves just that. We'll jump right in the first thing. Uh, actually, something that a lot of people walk right past. It's a VHS tape. Child's Play 2 VHS. This is Chucky. Uh, this sold. I picked this up for 50 cents at a garage sale about uh, three weeks ago or so, I think. And this sold for $24.49. Plus, somebody paid international shipping on this to send this to Cutter. I've never sold to Cutter before, so that checks another one off the list. And keep an eye out for the old classic horror movies on VHS type, especially around Halloween. They just tend to sell particularly well. Or if you see stuff that's sort of the schlocky B-movie horror stuff, some of that can do pretty well also. So don't ignore the VHS tape. Sometimes it can be pretty good money and a lot of times you can get it for almost nothing. This Robin Williams cassette tape, again, uh, old media, right? I picked this up for a quarter from Aaron and Mia's thrift store. And uh, actually there were none of these listed anywhere. I couldn't find anything on eBay. I couldn't find them on Amazon. I couldn't find anything. Now there, they did have some of these on uh, vinyl, but I couldn't find anything on cassette tape. So I priced a little bit high and figured, you know what? I'll see what happens. And we ended up getting a sale. It went for $27.99 plus shipping. Uh, we went with first class shipping on this. And uh, the person that bought it actually attached a message saying, uh, thanking me for having this available for sale because it was such a cool item. Always neat when uh, they thank you and then give you money for something. So I was a quarter in and went out for $27.99. This Vaughn Miller jersey, I bought this last year. I paid up for it because it was new with tags. Uh, a couple things here. One, new with tags, it will sell, especially around Christmas. It does tend to sell a little bit better. Uh, $15 is what I paid for this. It ended up selling for $36.50. And the other thing, this is a youth extra, extra large. Now I could have sold it that way. I put pictures of the tag and it's in the description that officially this is a youth XXL, but adult clothes sell better. It's adults that are online buying these things or they're buying them for their XXL youth. So what I did is uh, we've got the tag in there. We've got measurements in the listing, but I also said uh, this fits like a women's adult small to medium. I had my wife try it on. That way you can say, look, I know what the tag says, but this also would work if you're a women's small. That's what we did. And I don't know. I'm not sure who's buying this or what they're buying it for, but they're paying $36.50 plus shipping for it. These cast iron weight bar collars. I picked these up this last weekend. Um, you haven't seen this video yet. Uh, we just hit two garage sales and neither one of them were particularly exciting. But uh, this last garage sale had um, a few old weights. Uh, they had some uh, some dumbbells. They had like some barbell weight plates. Uh, just a couple of different things. We got the set of it for $3 for all of them. So there were uh, two sets of dumbbells with uh, three pounds on each side, so six pounds on each one. Um, we're selling those weights separately in sets of two. Um, I'm selling the bars. I'm selling right here, the weight collars. Uh, people buy these as well. So we paid $3 for everything for each individual unit. We're maybe, I don't know, I didn't do the math, a quarter in something like that. We sold these for $16.99 free shipping. Now they weigh just over a pound, so they had to go on a padded flat rate. But $16.99, I'm out seven and a half dollars to ship it. We only paid $3 for everything there. So now everything else 
that we sell off of that little weight pickup is profit. So think about parting this stuff out too. Uh, I, I could have sold this as one unit. Way easier to ship it this way, to put those two little pieces in a padded rate envelope and send it out. Super, super easy. So always think about what can I do to maximize my profit? And in this instance, it was selling the individual parts rather than the whole thing. Uh, Keith started shopping in the store again. Uh, Keith came in. Uh, our good friend Keith from Minnesota found a couple more Hot Wheels cars. Keith, thanks so much, man. I sure appreciate you. This 70 Chevelle with gold flake uh, paint on it. Really, really cool car. Uh, this went for $1.99 plus shipping and then keith came in and bought the 56 ford panel truck also that for 6.99 uh free shipping is what we had that one set out of course we could combine those and do combined shipping uh if you haven't seen the video i picked up 400 hot wheels cars for a hundred dollars we are slowly selling those off good portion of them going to Keith so far. Uh, Keith is a Hot Wheels collector, and uh, so it's cool to be able to put these up, a few of them at a time, and uh, have Keith find some that he likes. Keith, once again, thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, supporting the store. Fishtails told here this hat. I think this was part of a bundle deal of hats I picked up at a garage. I know I picked it up at a garage sale, but I'm trying to remember exactly how much we were into it. I think it's about 50 cents. It wouldn't be any more than a dollar. And uh, this actually picked up during our live last night with Joey Bod Bing 22. Uh, that, uh, incidentally, go check out Joey's channel because that's the channel where we uh, talked about the challenge. We've got a challenge going on. Uh, it's a listing challenge. We want you to go in and list at least one thing every day in this coming week. It's a Monday to Monday challenge, so you have seven chances to enter. Joey and I both going to be giving away for our winner a reseller box. Essentially, we're going to go into our inventory. We're going to put stuff together in a box, and we're going to ship it to you. And it's something that you can then go and resell and make money off of. So why not, right? This is the time you need to be listing. Anyway, it's hashtag Mountain Bing. Well, yeah, it's right there. But go to Joey's channel. Uh, we, we talk about it a little bit during uh, his live last night, explain how it's working, how you get your entry in, all that sort of thing. But it's listing. It's stuff you ought to be doing anyway. This fishtail sold here, had sold actually during uh, our live last night, and it sold to Gone Picking. Uh, gone picking, uh, watching the live says, Hey, I'm watching the live and I bought a hat. So man, uh, I, I sure appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming in. Uh, that's cool. We already got that hat boxed up and it is on its way to you. This Harley blanket, actually an offer came in during the live as well. I had this up for, I think 31, $32. I think it was 31 49 and an offer came in at 20 bucks. And, uh, so I asked the folks watching, Hey, what do you do in this instance? I already kind of knew what I wanted to do, but we asked the crowd that was watching live, and the consensus was, go for 25. Tell them, hey, let's meet in the middle. You know what? I was a little bit more literal uh, when I told them to meet in the middle. I wanted a little bit more, so I said 26. You know, it's closer to the middle. So $26 plus shipping, and they accepted that offer. Uh, so that going out, I think I paid, I think this was $5.99 at Goodwill. You guys, uh, I don't... Yeah, you have seen this video. I think this video has come out. So this was a Goodwill thrift trip. I think it was a $5.99 pickup. See, you don't get rich off of it, but you see Harley, if it's a good price, often you pick it up. And uh, this was a nice, easy sale. So six bucks and 26. Yeah, we'll do that. This K brand hat. I posted this last night during the live. It was a, a, a listing session. So we listed some stuff. K brand and K products are hats you want to look for for vintage snapback hats. Um, that made it a little bit desirable, this hat, but not necessarily that expensive. When you look at the sales history, it doesn't sell for a lot. It sells for between 15 and 20 bucks. I listed a little high at about 25 just to see. I woke up this morning and I had an offer of 10 and an offer of 15. So I had two people interested on the first evening that it posted. So I could have let it ride, but they had, there, there were others that had this hat up. This isn't particularly rare. So I thought, you know what, we're going to go with this. And uh, I sent each of them a counter offer of 20. And one of them came back. Actually, it was the one that came in low initially. Uh, he was in, uh, I believe, Delaware. He came back at 18. The other was in Malaysia. Uh, he wanted a lower, lower cost because he had to pay for international shipping. So Delaware, you beat out Malaysia as Joey loves when I go, eh, it's 
good enough. It was good enough. So uh, $18 plus shipping. Where this car quest at? Mini plush. Uh, I picked this up at a garage sale a couple months ago. Paid, I believe this was one. There were some that were a quarter and some that were 50 cents. I think this was one of the uh, the 50 cents because it was a little bit bigger. Um, so I think I'm 50 cents into this. And it sold for $16.57 free shipping. Though it comes in at 15 ounces. So it comes in just under. So we were able to make some uh, pretty good money. We make about 10 bucks off of this sale. So not bad. This vintage scream mask, this going right away this morning, this went overseas through one of my web interpret listings. We've talked about web interpret on this channel before. It's a service that lists my uh, US eBay listings on other countries' eBay sites. It's a bit like Bonanza. It's, a, it's international Bonanza, essentially, is what we're doing here. And uh, this sold, I got this from Farmer Mark, actually. He found this and uh, and a couple of other things and uh, got a hold of me and said, hey, this isn't really my thing. I know this is your thing. What do you think? So I picked it up and uh, I, I actually have a connection that uh, buys Scream stuff. And he had enough of these. He had this kind before. This is the T-stamp. Uh, he, he had this particular mask. He said, I've got enough of those. So I brought it to eBay and it sold for 61 64 great British pounds. That comes to uh, just under $80. And that's for the mask and the shipping. Shipping, I think, fifteen ninety five is what this one turned out to be. So after fees, after shipping, all of that, we're left with forty nine forty five. Now, when I picked it up from Mark, uh, he says, "You know what? Uh, just give me a quarter of whatever it sells for, and that's good." Because he's not that much into it. He he found it for a great deal. So, Mark, I got to do the math. It looks like twelve, thirteen bucks coming your way, my friend. Um, a couple more. Of this Princess Elena. Ornament. This is a Hallmark keepsake ornament. I bought these from the Hallmark store. These are old, and they were clearing out all of uh, their old ornaments. They put them a dollar a piece, like in the middle of the summer. I just happened in there. I was looking for puzzles, actually, during the lockdown, uh, and they had some good puzzles. And while I was there, I found they've got all these ornaments, too. And we made some really good money off of some of those. Some of those Hallmark ornaments, especially new and in the box, they sell for good money. Now we're left with some of the stragglers. I've got some Barbie and a few others, but they are going to sell in their 100% profit at this point. So $12.32 free shipping, but they go out uh, between six and seven ounces, depending on uh, which one it is. This one I think was seven ounces. So we still made okay money on this. And then the last one, not a big money maker here, Pirates of the Caribbean. Is it Caribbean or Caribbean? I don't know. I think the movie is Pirates of the Caribbean. This for the PS3. Uh, I paid $2 for this and a whole bundle of games, some worth more, some worth less, so it balances out. Uh, it got $5.99 plus shipping. And one more thing I almost forgot selling in the last couple of days, and I think that's because it actually sold a couple of days ago. Or at least I took an offer a couple of days ago, and then it sat there waiting for them to pay, and I didn't see it when I was zipping through my solds. This driver... I picked this up earlier this summer, paid $2 for it, and a uh, pretty nice turnaround. You know, I don't do a lot of golf clubs, but I, I tend to pick them up if I see some value. And this is one where I saw some value and turned around relatively quickly, and it just fit inside one of those priority tubes. So relatively easy to ship it out. It's sitting, well, you can't see it. Yeah, you can. It's sticking up over there because I had to Franken tube it and it was a little bit longer, so we got that all packaged up. I'm running to the post office now to drop these off. It's 5.30, I've got half an hour, but the post office is only five minutes away. It's still gonna take me two trips because after the long holiday weekend, we've got a lot of stuff to drop off. The fourth quarter has started, guys. I hear people all over saying their sales are picking up and mine definitely showing a daily increase in activity in the store. It's really exciting. I think this fourth quarter, it's gonna be crazy. So that's the stuff that we've sold here out of our eBay store. I hope that gives you an idea maybe of things to pick up. Maybe you learned something about something you didn't know before. That's why we're doing this after all. So thanks for stopping by. Comment, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. It helps us get this video and other videos out to more people and hopefully help more resellers out there as other resellers have helped me. Like I said, that's why we're doing it. 
I appreciate you stopping by, guys. Uh, lots more coming up this week. We've got reseller videos galore. I've got another What Sold coming up on Friday. Uh, otherwise, I think there'll be a thrifting video in here. You can go on a uh, thrift trip with my daughter and I. That was a fun afternoon, and uh, I think it'll be a fun video as well. Uh, good stuff. So if you like this one, come on back. We got more, but no more right now. I got to get this stuff to the post office. We'll see you guys. Bye.